Good evening. It is episode 13 of Burning oh, Books, really? and I'm actually awake this time. Hello! Oh, this is the unlucky episode. Or lucky, depending on which person you are. Which, which probably means, well, it has to be better than episode 12. We were terrible Yeah, episode last week. 12 was literally the worst. So maybe this is going to be the lucky episode. hashtag con coma. Was episode 12 con coma? I... Yes. It was post-con, so yes. Ah, Okay. Yes. It was also the, none of these books are interesting at all. Yeah, that was a bit of a problem, I would so agree So it was there. right after Con, and then no interesting books, and we were like, this is beautiful. Our first book is Jewels of the Sun by Nora Roberts. Nora oh boy. Roberts! We skipped our usual opening torso. Yeah, I was actually thinking that. I was like, huh, she doesn't write torsos. First in the new Irish trilogy. American Jade Murray retreats to Ireland and catches the eye of handsome local Aidan Gallagher. Ooh. Irish as fuck. Ow. That's it. Oh, okay. Oh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's disappointing. I mean... I went to Ireland, somebody looked at me. Yeah. Hooray! <laughs> I wish I could say the same. I don't think anybody in Ireland looked at me, except for Clancy, the horse. We were buds. <laughs> well, okay, and the dog I told you about today. Yeah, I remember the dog. I don't know the story about Okay, I went to Ireland and made friends with animals. <laughs> Next up is A Cupboard Full of Coats. Oh, I wasn't sure if that was actually the name of the book or if you were describing the... <laughs> <laughs> I got confused for a moment. Nope. I've no, that's literally what it's called. I've never seen it right. spelled yeah. with two Vs. I thought there was something fancy wow. about that's that. That's a lot of the same letter in her name. Yeah. Two Vs, two Es, two Ts. It all rhymes. Jinx believes she played a part in her mother's murder oh, until dear. an old acquaintance shares a strange story that could change her life forever. Well, see, no, that's kind that's of upsetting. Yeah. I, yeah, I wanted that to be more interesting, but we had to waste our breath on changing her life forever. Mm. Uh, now I'm wondering what that title has to do with anything. <laughs> a Forbidden Rum Springa. Oh, a what? Huh? <laughs> Jesus, she oh, sounds dear. like something I'd write, absolutely. When an illicit romance blossoms between Carpenter David and his young apprentice Isaac, it escalates into unbridled passion and shocks their insular community. <gasps> a heartfelt Amish love story about two men who could lose everything by following their hearts. Oh dear. Amish Jesus. I can't. I can't even. Also, um, if you're not familiar with the Amish, Rumspringa is when um, teenage Amish kids are allowed to go out into, like, the world for a while before they decide whether they're going to remain Amish or go out and be um, everybody else, was, basically. Wasn't it like mm. nine? They go back and they go back. Yeah, yeah, mostly because their parents aren't with them and they're about 14. So, like, release a 14 year old into the world for two weeks and see if they want to come home. You know what I mean? Like, at first, it's probably super fun. Get real wild and go to parties for a while and then get sick of it and go home. Yeah. Which, I mean, I would. I pretty much did. It was called college. <laughs> <laughs> Juliet. When Julie digs into the history of her ancestor... Oh, Julietta. Yeah, it, ha it has a G, so I got scared. She unearths a larger-than-life past and an ancient curse. Ooh. So Italian? Yes. So I'm assuming this is a, like, Romeo and Juliet. Like, I feel like her ancestor was that Juliet. That would be curious, considering. Yeah. Didn't we just talk about this before? <laughs> or today? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Because I'm like, well, she she died. Yeah, she 100% uh, died. <laughs> she died and she was like, what, 13 or something? Something, yeah, something like, like that. that. Um, so that's just my, my guess. Correct. Yeah, like, I mean... It does sound kind of interesting. I'm like, well, yeah, okay. Like, if you have, like, a... A big old curse on people with similar names in your family. Well, right, yeah. Latin fauna. How much do you know about the animals you <laughs> see squashed on the highway? Too much. Boost your knowledge with this darkly humorous nature guide. No. There's been a skunk outside for like a hundred thousand uh, years. And I know, and every time I walk into work, I'm like, why does it smell like weed out here, oh right? Because it's decay. Southern gods. In 1950s Memphis, wait, we've had this. 
I think we've had this. Mm. In 1950s Memphis, war veteran Bull is hired to track down a mysterious blues musician who supposedly sold his soul to the devil. Oh. But Bull soon learns the truth is far more terrifying than any legend. Bleeding cowboys on the front. Actually, it just sounds like an episode of Supernatural. Kinda. <laughs> right? I thought so, too. Whoa, whoa, what? Southern Gods is scary, smart, and effective both as Lovecraftian fiction and a southern regional novel set in 1951. Ugh. I, okay. I'm roughly sick of Southern people. I just read that other book and I'm over it. (laughs) Whatever. Uh, The killer wore leather. A mystery. At an annual BDSM contest, the past year's winner is found murdered in his hotel room. Rebecca Feldblum, one of the only out lesbian detectives in her force, is assigned to the case, but delving into this world may lead her back to her own past. Mm. Huh. And, of course, it's tagged as LGBT and not crime fiction or any well, of that other right. shit. Why would, why would this be a mystery? There's lesbians in it, obviously. But she's the only one be. who's out. Which, I mean, that's all pretty reasonable. I feel like our trend of legitimate torsos, like, has kind of just collided with everything else. So I'm like, this isn't even a torso one. There just happens to be gay people in it. This is fantastic. Right. It's $2. Damn it. Next is Touched by Scott Campbell. And um, huh. when I was looking for this, I learned that there is a J. Scott Campbell who does art of unrealistically proportioned women from pop culture. And I was definitely appalled and certainly did not take a few minutes to peruse such <laughs> uh-huh. I didn't look at any of it uh, uh, for sure. I'm sure. <laughs> anyway... When 12-year-old Robbie reveals to his mother that their neighbor has been abusing him, the lives of two families are changed forever. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, no, now I feel bad for making fun of it. Yeah. The Dragon and the Djinn. American James Eckert, as he faces life in the 14th... Oh, follow 20th century American James I was James wondering Eckert. what was going on there. <laughs> I... I tend to, there was like quotes and stuff, and I usually skip like if there's numbers and shit at the beginning, Mm because I just assume that it's telling me how many people read it. Right, yeah. So, follow 20th century American James Eckert as he faces life in the 14th century. With pirates, sea giants, and assassins, this tale from a legendary author will delight in any fantasy reader. Legendary? Do I know who this is? I don't know, I like dragons and pirates. I feel like dragons and pirates need to overlap a lot more. Dark Heart of Magic. When Lila is selected to compete in the dangerous Tournament of Blades, her world is thrown into chaos. Can she protect handsome Devin Sinclair and herself? Literally none of these books have looked the way I expected them to. (laughs) True. Like, I'm like, alright, I'm gonna go and I'm expecting some, like, YA bullshit with some bitch on the cover and I get some bitch on the cover but not very YA. So I'm like, alright, okay. It's tagged YA, this one is. Yes, but it doesn't look YA. It doesn't, yeah, no, you're right. It's surprisingly YA. Yes, this one looks more like a sort of tongue-in-cheek supernatural suspense. Like, this looks yeah. like something Harrison would give me. Yeah, yeah. I do like that it's like, oh no, everything is crazy because I have to compete in this crazy, definitely not the Hunger Games tournament. <laughs> right. How will I protect a boy? Oh boy, what am I ever going to do? What am I going to do, guys? What am I going to do? <laughs> and also, maybe I might die. I mean, that's always possible. That one is $3. What are you talking about? Oh, that is about? a whole oh, kind a of, lot of money. money. I'd tell you what this is, but I cannot pronounce it. Oh. Le- hang on. Lagniapes? Or unless it's a... I don't know. Also, I hate the fleur de lis instead of O's. Oh... Um... I didn't even look that I close. was like, what's who use of crib- oh, no. gross. Yeah, it, you can't even... No, you have to actually think about reading that, and I don't like to, having to think while I read. Crimson and Clover. Okay, it, it, it's, it's spelled L-A-G... I can't get it. L-A-G-N-I-A-P-P-E. That's Lanyap. According to the internet, it's Lanyap. L A N Y A P. That is a, a lot word of letters. Know. Yeah. It means given something given anyway. as a bonus or extra gift. Oh. oh. The this spellbinding saga follows the De Chanel's and the Sullivans, two powerful New Orleans families with paranormal secrets. Ugh. 
So it's five short stories of that. Five short stories of that. It's five short stories of, like, these burning gifts somebody took from a MySpace. Yeah. Animated, yeah, animated glitter. Yeah. Those are my favorite. Yeah, I want them too. Note to self, put glitter on these in the video. And then take out the part where I said a note to myself. The Hurricane Sisters. We've got another chick on the beach with an umbrella. Oh, no, she had a hat last time. Never mind. Beach bitches. And that's an author tale following the struggles of three generations of strong women. Okay. Oh, okay. The, Is the that end. it? Yep. Oh, that's <laughs> upsetting. I mean, I can read you this quote. Dottie Frank's books have the fizz of a gin and tonic, the hilarity of a night out at a comedy club, and the warmth of a South Carolina sun. Okay. Spoiler alert, it's the same sun. <laughs> 29 and a half reasons. While huh. most people hate jury duty, Rose is thrilled to get out of work, but when she overhears a juicy conversation outside the courtroom, she realizes that the man on trial is innocent, and she may be the only one who can <sighs> help him. Okay. Lame. Oh my god, I overheard someone talking in the hallway. This guy might be innocent. Or... Lame. Or... Or, or you can look at the actual evidence. Why? Well, because overhearing conversations in the hallway is not really permissible in court when especially you are the only person, also you are a juror, and aren't supposed to get any outside information on the case. Uh, that sounds That sounds difficult. Also... This is actually tagged as cozy, and now I'm very <gasps> upset. That's upsetting. Yeah. Why? Unacceptable. The abduction. Like, the most unacceptable. Okay, I'm sorry. New book. After his granddaughter is kidnapped, Ben Bryce must draw from his Green Beret expertise to rescue her. Yay. You know, we haven't gotten a character named Ben in a while. That's true. I think, like, ever, actually. Uh, we very, might have uh, a long time ago. Not a very utilized name. And this is so. This is like Taken, but with Grand. I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, okay, so it's Taken. I had the same thought. <laughs> I was just like, wait a minute. <laughs> but hey, that's fair. It was a good movie, and yeah. I mean, I'll, you know, I'll experience that story more than once. That's not. You'll experience not it retold at least six or seven more times. Voyagers. Hey, this is by Ben. Another oh, hey, one, Ben, ben Bova. This must As be the. A. Wait, 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 wait. Ben Bova. Okay. I just stopped what I was doing to make sure I heard her right. Not Ben Bova. Ben Bova. Yeah, no. That's why I had to go and make sure. Because that's not what I heard. This person is also apparently a legendary author. Oh. As an alien spacecraft heads towards Earth, physicist Keith Stoner... You're shitting. Keith Stoner? Keith is the stoneriest name I can think of. <laughs> right? It really is. Kevin's like, a good one, too. Like I said, Keith Stoner, and I immediately always like, okay, so Shaggy. <laughs> right? Embarks on a daring mission to preserve its legacy for humanity. Wait. Um, on a daring mission to preserve its legacy for humanity. Yeah, who's what, it? Who, yeah, what is it? I, we need some clearer pronoun antecedents here. So I'm thinking that it refers Ow. either to Earth or to the spacecraft. Oh. Huh. And that makes two diff very different stories uh, depending on which one Amazon it is. Right. says Stoner... What would Amazon know? Stoner knew the fiery object hurtling toward the Earth Stoners don't know shit. was an alien spacecraft but the world might never know. He was trapped in an iron cordon of secrecy for the discovery had shattered the world power balance setting off a brutal struggle of supremacy that raged from the sacred halls of the vatican to the corridors of the kremlin and the pentagon what oh the forces so of really fear does. and treachery would use any weapon at their command for mind war to sabotage to keep the world in darkness aided by a brilliant soviet linguist and a lovely young student Stoner planned a desperate mission, a wild, heart-stopping gamble to preserve the legacy of the Star Voyager for all mankind. So it does refer to the alien spacecraft. Yeah. Black Irish. Yes, we've got several Irish people. Uh, Detective Abby struggles to fit in at her hometown's police department. Is it because she's a lesbian? Huh. Well, solving a messy murder. But the killer already knows her name and her family's secrets. Oh, oh that's intense. Spoiler alert, they're Irish. Yeah, probably. <laughs> An Irish cop? 
Uh, wait till the rest of the precinct finds out. <laughs> Mind of the Phoenix. Gifted with the ability to read people's emotions and memories, Moira has always re resented her powers until the government requests her skills. Danger and romance collide in this Ooh. thrilling read. Oh boy. You know, I didn't expect any of that considering the cover. This has just been those days. one of those days. It, unappropriate cover day. Right, yeah, because I'm like, okay, what time period is this? Also, yeah. the picture on the cover makes me feel uncomfortable, and I don't know why. She has no hands. The, um, well, yeah, that too. <laughs> it's also a, um, pastiche, basically. It's like, okay, wear a modern dress that's that we slapped a corset onto to make it look old. Uh, yeah, it's, if, if I were going to place that at any sort of other era, I would put it in the French Revolution. The Victorian era was very, very specific about women not mm. showing any skin, specifically their shoulders. So Right, but she doesn't have the bustle. Bustles were hit or miss, but the, uh, the French Revolution had the giant um, cages that they put dresses on. But I'd have to see the front of the corset to be able to tell yeah, for sure. Because there's, the, there's the boob corset and then there's like the shelf corset that gives you like a weird squish. Uh -huh. Because there was, you know, there there were decades where cleavage was cool and where it wasn't. Well, yeah, exactly. Right. But that is definitely, if they're going for a steampunk look here, they did not choose the right. Well, like anyone but us cares. Right. Well read, oh, then read. Oh, God. This book's about me. Hopefully. A read em and eat mystery <laughs> down the day. I'm just waiting. Fingers it's crossed. It's a read em and eat days. mystery. No. That's all I do. That's me on the weekends. Wow, look at them Photoshop Taking skills. a break from peddling tea and paperbacks at their bookstore cafe, Sassy and Bridgie set out to solve the murder of a beloved local senior. A delightful Gulf Coast mystery with rye humor and delicious pastries galore. <sighs> That's just going to be food triggers. I'm just going to be hungry the whole time if I read this. And also angry. At least there's no puns on the thing on the front. It just says terrific, a great story, plenty of heart, and compelling characters. Well, okay, at least we were saved that much. I don't know, read them and eat, though. Fair. The Incarnations. I feel, I need a glass of wine. Like, I need to just be holding a glass of wine this whole time. The <laughs> cup I'm holding right now, this, like, plastic tumbler doesn't fit in my hand like a wine glass when I'm trying to hold it like that. And it's really just gonna spill itself all over my computer, and then I'll cry. Are you drinking? No. <laughs> I'm awake, aren't I? Uh, so yes. This whatever book follows a taxi driver in Beijing as he finds a mysterious letter that will lead him through his past lives and to his soulmate. Gasp. I gasped. I heard. Yes, it happened. I, um, that sounded really cool. Not big on romances. True. But, um, I kind of like that. Um, Dead Lake... This one looks familiar, too. Did we that have Dead Lake? Familiar. For Sam, a week at her uncle's lake cabin is the perfect chance to focus on her art. But a strange man is watching her from a distance, and an unspeakable menace is lurking in the water. Mm. Uh, no. That does not sound familiar, but holy nope. shit, that got scary fast. That did. I yeah. got goosebumps from that one. Yep. Ooh, like goosebumps the whole way. Know. Like, all the way down to my toes from that one. I don't know which of those things is more threatening. Because I'm like, okay, it could turn out that the strange man is trying to protect her from the water thing, but maybe not. Oh, Jesus. The radio's news reports talk about disappearances on a nearby hiking trail. The car won't start, and Sam starts to believe she's being stalked when she catches glimpses of a tall, strange man standing at the end of her dock, staring intently into the swirling waters below. Okay. I think my goosebumps got goosebumps. Oh. Okay. Something spooky this way comes. <laughs> I need to, like, record you singing stuff and just making it my ringtone all the time. Well, it's a good thing that we're recording this now. I want that to be my theme song. I want something <laughs> spooky this way come. Just... Yes, followed by that. I want them to be together and I want to play it whenever I walk into a room. <laughs> For your love. As the mayor of his small town, Trent July seems to have it all, including a lovely wife and two perfect foster children. But when the past comes calling, Trent will have to accept a shocking truth. Oh, a blessings novel? I'm looking oh, at this lady's outfit, though, and it looks like she's wearing blankets, and I'm like, how do... 
that is they are in a warm area like i've seen dresses like people that. wear that much clothing it's hot there well i've seen dresses like that that is literally like a shawl but to your mm -hmm. feet yeah blankets <laughs> not quite the same thing kenya it's a snuggie yes but even hotter <laughs> than blankets yeah kenya would know i would because i have a snuggie i know you do it's a deeper print <laughs> I also know that. That's not a shark. Well, then why don't you just wh why don't you just live at my house then if you Is know what's really? in it? I don't need to. You have your own house. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she evil laughed. Uh, the Pilo Family Circus. That kind of looks one? weird. It's a clown. Yeah. When three psychotic clowns kidnap oh, Jamie lol. and take him to a grotesque alternate okay. world. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Warning, do not read if you do not like clowns. He oh. discovers that he's his own what? worst enemy. <laughs> what? Is he a clown? <laughs> you've been plot twisted. Because obviously clown clowns are along. the only thing he should be worried about. <laughs> I mean, when the only thing that is causing you problems are things that kidnap you, and those things happen to be clowns. <laughs> then obviously clowns are your worst enemy. <laughs> Literally the only thing that makes sense. Jamie's a clown. What? Story over. <laughs> uh, cast in angel fire. Oh lord almighty. When Marianne wakes up at Mercy Hospital... It looks she like has... she doesn't have any from here. <laughs> yeah, I thought that too, because I'm like, oh yeah, I skipped the blind chick. I know that she was here. Uh, she has no memory of her identity, but her doctor Lucas insists she's a powerful half witch, half uh, angel. No, it's a fan no, fiction no. story. Absolutely uh, not. Half witch, uh, half no. angel, one hundred percent special uh, snowflake. No. Ugh. Dark matters. Oh, I get it because dark matter. Yeah, that's a pretty cover mm, though. That is Beautiful. In this electrifying near future tale, CEO Rudy Dersch races across oh, races to uncover the secrets of dark matter before a deadly conspiracy takes over the world. No. Oh, that sounds fairly typical for that genre. But dark matter is some cool shit, and I'd like to see what somebody does with that. My boy James Rollins says it's everything he loves in a novel. Yeah, Thanks, but your James. boy James Rollins also wrote a book with that one chick. I know. We all have mistakes in our past past in our still currently finishing that series <sighs> James, it's okay it's not too late to get out of this relationship <laughs> past crimes after his estranged grandfather is murdered van shaw races to track down the shooter but first he'll have to revisit his own dark past i feel like i could make a ransom note out of all of these and like and it would just be the descriptions for all of them. Like, I feel like I can just print all these out, cut out, like, dark past, and is murdered, Stop and, the like, all of these, and just, well, yes, and just rearrange them, like, the same 12 words into the description for every single book. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing I would have to, like, make up is the names, but I would just have to just throw some names in and see what sticks. That one looks cool. Reboot. Ooh, that does look cool. Ren died five years Holy ago. Holy shit, five years ago I died. 178 now, minutes later I woke up. Now she's a reboot, back from the dead to serve as a soldier in post-apocalyptic Texas. Suck. It sucks there. Yeah, Texas sucks normally. <laughs> right? It's even worse whenever you're forced to be a soldier and also you die. Yeah. But when she begins training to... Uh, when she begins training new recruit Callum, he makes her question her whole world. Oh, that was cool yeah. until right then. Yeah, I should have just stopped talking a whole sentence earlier. Yeah. It's one of the songs from the Shrek soundtrack. Yep. When a homeless man is burned alive, Detective Danny Beckett is put on the case. While searching for the truth, he'll discover a conspiracy that gets more dangerous the higher he climbs. Mm -hmm. Insert suspenseful music here. The Iron King. Not to be confused with anything related to Game of Thrones. Not to be confused with we put George R. R. Martin's name at the top. Oh, Jesus Christ, they and did. It literally says 
Game of Thrones on it. This is the original Game of Thrones. Okay, so let's talk for half of a second about how this is not Game of Thrones. <laughs> also, I'm like, the Iron King went to Burger King. The Iron King went to Burger King while dressed as a crusader. Good job, yeah. Maurice. I'm just going to read this whole thing because from an author whose work George R.R. R. Martin called the original Game of Thrones, the reign of Philip the Fair is known for its greatness, but was also marked by intrigue, betrayal, and violence. Okay. Oh, so it's like historical fiction? Okay. Yeah. Oh, you know what? That's actually acceptable. I will accept that. Yes. Because I was like, what the fuck? But I'm like, okay, no. All right. Really happened? slightly fictionalized account this is where as we were talking before this is where the line is okay because yeah. i'm sure anything has to be like glossed up for tv or books or whatever or people aren't going to read it because history is boring but right but they're, they, they're probably the not not only they're that not, they're probably not majorly changing this person's history and i get i guess i get super frustrated when you add a child to a person who did not have a child because because it's you like, don't what the need fuck? to reproduce to be somebody. That's true. You don't have to make a person from history viable by giving them offspring. That's true, because they're already famous for a reason. Right. The chill of night. An attorney is found murdered, and there's no shortage of suspects for detectives Mike McCabe and Maggie Savage to investigate. Mm. When they receive a lead from a woman who suffers hallucinations, oh. the police aren't sure they can trust her until she, too, disappears. Huh. I like well, it. Well, that got a little bit more interesting, yeah. Yeah, it did. <coughs> Way not to be generic. It's uh, 99 cents. I feel like every week I get a little bit closer to actually spending money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fabled. This one's not trying to trick us. It's got a chicken address on the front. When Rowena falls into Mezzanine, a dark fairy tale world, she desperately tries to return home, but Mezzanine's evil ruler won't let her go so easily. I actually, okay. I like half of this cover. Which half? I like the font conjoined with the, like, frame. Same. And I like the background. I don't like the chick on it. Or the I don't owl. Like that she's blowing? Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. I feel like she doesn't belong there. And I feel like her and the owl were just pasted into this picture, which well, I'm the sure owl, they were. Well, but... yes, but the owl is way darker than everything else, so it stands yeah. out. And she is way overexposed than everything else. So I'm like, okay, tone down her highlights. Yeah. Bring up the owl's shadows. Well, not shadows. only that, the saturation on her dress is super high. I guess, yeah. Look, it is so only the, highlights and lowlights. There are no mid mid. There are no there. mids, but the background is also very vibrant. Like, you've got the, the teal and the purple. Right, but the like, background is all mid tones. I think that's why she's jumping out so much. Maybe. But she's also, like, the glow. And that, that happens when you overexpose something so bad that it's just... The, your highlights blow and yeah. they cause reflections. But I'm like, that was added in though, because right. if you if you overexposed her that bad, she would have no, you wouldn't have any detail. No, no, that was that was photoshopped in, and I yeah, that's so you can, I feel the dress saturation was the same, like it was yeah, also so added you can in. Take that down, it'll be fine. You don't like we can see her because She's her wearing white, we can see her. Her colors match the rest. So whoever changed everything to blues and purples. <laughs> They changed her, too, so she's blues yeah. and purples. Yeah. But, they're, yeah, the dress is, like, too bright. I don't know why I fall for fairy tales every friggin' time, but I'm like, ooh, fairy tale world. And I'm like, no, Kenya, do not get this book. You're gonna hate it. It's gonna be terrible. Don't do it. Did we have Detonator by Andy McNabb? I don't remember. I feel like, I feel like we've had A in this Andy This looks McNabb. like McNabb by Detonator. Well, maybe it was. When a terrible murder pulls former covert operator Nick Stone into a dangerous international mission, he must work to bring down a criminal ring and a ruthless terrorist, all while eluding capture by overseas authorities. Nick Stone sounds familiar. I wonder if we have had another similar book. This is the 17th Nick Stone mission, after all, so there is a pretty high chance that we have had one of the other 16. Chronic Fear. The sequel to Liquid Fear. <laughs> oh, no. Now I'm disappointed. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, I thought Sarah was making a joke and she wasn't, and no. I'm just sad. <laughs> I was no, like, that's right. funny. She's me now. Oh. <laughs> I was reading right. the cover. She's like the. Yeah, like the way you said it, too. Except it would have been just funny. like me going, like, as opposed to liquid fear. Oh. Or <laughs> like. Chronic and liquid aren't. It would have been like temporary fear or right. a. Yeah, that's what I actually would have said, as opposed like, to temporary like, fear. Like something chronic is long term, so acute is like sudden. It's, it's, so I'm like, okay, yeah, acute fear would work. The sequel to liquid fear. But, all right, liquid and chronic. The clock is ticking for Dr. Alexis Morgan and the surviving test subjects of the Mickey of the Monkey House trials. Uh, can they expose the conspiracy behind the drug controlling their lives, or will they lose their sanity first? Mm. I'm not sure I understand what I just read. Thirteen stolen girls. Oh. When an earthquake reveals a hidden grave of long-missing actress, police Whoa. detective Layla Remington sets out to catch a murderous psychopath. But the hunter might just become the hunted in Ugh. why we have one of those every week. Yeah. I was... I was actually intrigued until the, but the hunter might become the hunted. Oh, oh no. Oh, That's boy. always like mm. the staple in all of these books. Mm. The air hunter. I wonder if they become the hunted. Nick and Alex must travel the globe to track down heirs to a multi-million dollar estate before their arrivals get there first. But what happens when the game takes a deadly turn? <gasps> I don't know. Well, Probably someone dies, or else it wouldn't be deadly. Oh, a killer boy. retreats. Here Kate is thrilled to take a job as a yoga instructor at a peaceful resort, but when a guest turns up dead in the hot tub, Kate must. Oh, Kate becomes the chief suspect. Can she crack the case and clear her name with the help of her beau, her best friend, and her trusty pup? What are these people doing to make themselves the number one target? Did she find the body? Did she have a fight with this person? What the hell Being are they special. doing? Where they're suddenly Being like, is what I'm all working doing. as a yoga instructor. Oh no, this person is dead. It's like, I blame you instantly. You have no connection to this person whatsoever, but it's still your fault. It's like, what the fuck are they doing? I don't understand. I mean, a lot of the times it's like, well, their number one rival died or whatever. And I'm like, oh, well... I mean, okay. Uh, but yeah, again, why you need to be involved, you're the yoga instructor. Mm. Bad Penny. Army Special Forces veteran Frank Shaw is... We have two people named Shaw. Frank oh, Shaw is we did, yeah. looking for a fresh start in small town Wyoming, trying to stay on the straight and narrow path after a stint in prison. But when some bad men from his past show up, Frank must break the law to protect what he loves. No one gives a shit. It's in Wyoming. Nobody's gonna see you. Right? Wyoming's not a real place. <laughs> it really isn't. The Silver Sea. Uh, when a Viking village raid leaves Freydis injured and her brother Toki kidnapped, she journeys to find him with the enslaved Enno. But all three are on course to collide with the dangerous Pirate King. I hmm. am dying. Please look at this guy's axe. It's so tidy. <laughs> so it looks like he's stabbing himself it's with so the end it's, of the handle. It's a pencil axe. I know. Like, he could write something with that axe. <laughs> it's... That's not... Terrifying weapon, Mike Ooh, Tyson. Oh boy, that's the scariest of weapons. Uh, excellent. Well, I'm, I'm glad we had that. Thanks, tiny axe. The Art of Forgetting, Rider. Okay, book one is called Rider. Got it. It's free. Oh, okay. The son of an infamous traitor, gifted Rodri is determined to overcome his family's legacy in this breathtaking journey of love, war, sexual awakening, and self-discovery. Oh. Holy shit, that's tagged LGBT. I was going to say, is that LGBT? Because that is the only time I have ever heard sexual awakening used. Same. Like, well, as soon as you said sexual awakening, I went, wait. Well, yeah, I wasn't, I was going to stop reading that sentence because I'm like, breathtaking journey, blah, 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 of this shit. But then I was like, oh, nope, I saw, I'm like, I saw sex, I'm going to keep reading. Right. 
because I'm like, okay, love, and I'm like saying, I'm saying the word love, and I'm like, but sex is coming later, and usually books use those interchangeably well, because right. books are idiots. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> the books are you idiots. Books, you're not smart. You don't know <laughs> because books are idiots. What do you know? Books. Don't tell me how to live. I'm looking at the stack of books that I bought because of BookBub BT Dubs, <laughs> and I'm I'm yelling at them right now. <laughs> I can't yell at Nabokov because I feel like his books do know they're smarter than me. Well, yeah. I'm going to get that one because it's free and it's gay and there's a guy on a horse. Because it's free and it's gay. Crossing Savage. A nonstop techno thriller full of action, intrigue, and adventure. One by one, the world's top energy researchers are being murdered. Can Peter Savage? We've had another Savage, too. I was going to say, this is our second Savage. Keep a revolutionary discovery from igniting a global war. Mm, nah. Mm. Yesterday's Echo. Ex cop Rick was never convicted of his wife's murder, but he remained the primary suspect in the public eye. Eight years later, Rick sees a chance to clear his name, only to become the target of a manhunt. Sorry. Right. Yeah. I don't have a whole lot to say about that, actually. Elementals, the prophecy of shadows. Ooh, she's sparkly. She's actually kind of pretty. She looks like she's got two different eye colors. But that just might be the shading. Um, it's very subtle, but I'm zooming way in, and one is very, very, very light brown. Okay. Uh, when a comet unlocks the dormant elemental powers in new girl Nicole, bad boy Blake, and three other classmates, uh, together they must race against time to fulfill a mysterious prophecy and protect their own town, protect their town from beastly creatures. Her eyebrows are uneven. Well, who has time for eyebrows when you're magical? Yeah. Whoever did her her makeup for the cover. I don't think they're too bad. People will just take pictures as stock photos and and just go um there. that somebody took the original photo, had it intended on it being used as a book cover and yeah. whoever did this was like, "Hey, can I use this photo for this book?" Oh yeah, for sure. It could have been like a fashion shoot. And for the record, I think her eyebrows look fine. Same. <laughs> I didn't say they looked bad. They I just said they magic. were uneven. <laughs> Oh, well, you're uneven. You're the one being the dick, Sarah. All right, fine. <laughs> I won. I I feel like we need a we need a montage of when Sarah actually criticizes something, and, and then we criticize her I for mean, it. Like I haven't even talked. I've got Wait. caterpillars on my face, so we're mean as fuck. And then we're like, Sarah, her eyebrows are fine. Jesus, we're like Jesus Christ, why do you have to be such a bitch? <laughs> Meanwhile, we're, we're like, what a stupid name this guy has. <laughs> dur, dur, dur. <laughs> well, seriously, speaking of stupid names, right. this next novel, <laughs> Yancey Lazarus. <laughs> oh, Wizard did it. When <laughs> Wizard Yancey, Yancey investigates a demonic killing in L.A., he uh. finds himself in the middle of a gang war, and that's the least of his problems. Oh, Jesus. I'm also, I'm... Oh, it's free. He's I'm lighting... equally concerned about the smoke that's coming out of nothing. <laughs> right? So is he lighting that cigarette with his own hands, or does he actually have something there? Because well, he I mean, like he's, he's a wizard. Fire. He's a wizard. So he's probably lighting it with his own fire, like his fire magic. With his finger or something. But my yeah. concern is, where the hell is that smoke coming from? I don't know. It looks I like want to they... say the side of his mouth, but no. It looks it's like they not. tried, because if you look right next to the cigarette, it looks like a very thin stream of white coming out but that's not right that looks weird yeah no, no it that is really cigarette weird cigarette is not smoking also now his that i'm zooming way in his facial hair is hilarious <laughs> and i don't really know why i can't like pinpoint why but it's just i, I it looks like every single individual hair was drawn on i i, I want to i hope it was no if they anybody takes him seriously though with his name Yancey. Well, I don't think anybody named Yancey seriously. Can you, can you seriously. imagine this guy coming up to like kick your ass and you'd be like, your name is Yancey? <laughs> Ain't nobody named Yancey gonna kick my ass. <laughs> You're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's how well, he wins. He wins because he people are laughing, so he takes advantage of it. Yes, you are you are paralyzed with laughter and he just magics the shit out of you while you're laughing at his name. Uh, the Vampire Hunter's Daughter. Ooh, the complete collection. Wink. Go away, Yancey. I want to look at this bitch. Wow, Indulge this bitch with this... a really long neck. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Indulge in this addictive paranormal saga. After her mother is brutally murdered, Chloe learns that she comes from a long line of vampire hunters. Now she's out for blood. 
dot, dot, dot. Please explain to me why her neck is twice the length it should be. Uh, because she has long hair and they put it there so she looks like she has a crazy long neck. Why? Well, because it makes you look skinny. No, it doesn't. It makes her look like a giraffe. Well, I'm sorry. At least her eyebrow is okay. <laughs> yeah, Sarah. <laughs> Next is also free. Spying in high heels. Uber fashionable shoe designer Maddie is out to catch a killer, but first she'll have to prove her innocence to the handsome detective hot on her trail. Something is wrong with that back leg. Something is wrong with everything. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much all I... of that. Nursing a grudge. Uh, speaking of toesies. When new mom Kate, we have another Kate, decides to work from home as a private eye, she has to juggle diaper changes, playdates, and a murder case. Maternal instincts mystery. <laughs> um, please keep your guns away from the baby. <laughs> and also cats. And also cats. You know it's anything about cats? cats? Yeah, no, also, cats and babies don't. Isn't that crib, like, style supposed to not be around anymore because they kill babies shame also keep your bad perspective baby bottle away from everything too we can't have your baby floating into the fifth dimension <laughs> there's also a bookshelf above the crib that could collapse and fall into the mat into the, ba yeah, the baby not being held up by anything this is unsafe for children <laughs> this is the worst I, okay so speaking of the bottle count the books <laughs> One, two, i three can't because one of them is Three. missing an edge. Where's yeah. the fourth one? Where did the, it yeah. go? <laughs> There's three and literally a half. Yeah. <laughs> got a two-dimensional book and a four-dimensional baby Where bottle. Jesus go? Christ. <laughs> These are great. These are like an I spy for terrible <laughs> Photoshop. Continuing with free, the Serial Killer Chronicles, books one through three. Dive into a dark world of twisted fantasies, psychopathic killers, and the investigators who hunt them. A spine-tingling collection of I don't care. Do yeah. roses go with red with splatter, and then white with red splatter, and yellow with red splatter? I know. They make no sense. <laughs> I know, but I guess it's supposed to look like blood, and all the splatters are the same, and all the roses are the are same. You? They've just changed the color, so I don't really know what we're expecting here. <laughs> How do you say the author's name? Enos? Okay. Enos Smith? The Dead Man. Also oh, man. free. As participants in a study of the human brain start dying, oh dear. FBI agent Jack Davis begins a dangerous investigation, one that puts him on a collision course with a horrifying serial killer. That sounds horrifying. It looks like the cover of a movie. I, I didn't want that to be a serial killer, actually. Like, I wanted that to be... Deep down, I wanted that to be, like, Inception. I wanted him to have to go into the, like, study himself and, and trip balls for a little bit. But I guess we can hunt down a serial killer. That's yeah, fine. All right. Southern Yay! Spirits. No oh boy. We got a supernatural cozy. Oh when boy. Verity Long unwittingly traps a ghost on her property, what? she discovers the what, power to commune with the spirit world. Oh, no. Now Alice Wyatt needs her help evicting some undead tenants, no. but his estate holds a long buried secret. No. <laughs> uh. Southern Ghost Hunter Mysteries. Book one. Uh, no, what is with you and Southern people, Kenya? I don't know. I read that one book and now it's just like, well, Kenya lives in the South. City of Beads. Bees? Bees. 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 <laughs> Tubby Dubonnet, an endearing New Orleans lawyer with an incurable Bees. appetite because, of course, returns for an escapade that's both harrowing and hilarious. We're down south again. I'm like, literally, their name is Tubby, and they eat all the time. Yeah, but but it's That's by a so man funny. named Tony Never Dunbar. Eat. It's very similar. The Book of Air and Shadows. When a Manhattan lawyer and an aspiring filmmaker go hunting for an undiscovered Shakespeare play, they plunge into an unpredictable, death-defying adventure. Huh. Well, that could be worse. That's another thing that I will accept. If you want to tell me that there's, like, some lost shit that Shakespeare wrote, because there is, that it doesn't exist anymore, I'm down. That's cool. The Coptic Secret. When prophetic documents are stolen from the British Museum during a gala, Lang Riley pledges to reclaim them. These texts contain ancient truths never before revealed, and the thieves are determined to use them for their own chilling purposes. Mm. Ooh, that sounds chilling. What are their own chilling purposes? What are, what are they going to use... 
old scrolls or whatever for well maybe not even scrolls that might have been old um what did you write on with a stylus what labs because it's coptic which is like just after ancient egyptian tablets tablets is what yes. i was looking okay. for but i was like okay you write on it with a stylus no, you threw me off because i was literally writing with my stylus on my tablet when you asked and i was like can you see me well it's only fair you can see my snuggie this is true I, Iago, we're going Shakespeare today. How does an honest boy grow into a monstrous villain? This spellbinding bestseller takes a fresh look at Iago, the notorious scoundrel from Shakespeare's Othello. Political intrigue, betrayal, and a heartrending romance. This is pretty. I like this. Is that a quote from the book? One does not prosper by honesty. Well, that, more than anything else, makes me want to read this. It's $2. Why does everything have to cost $2? Children of the Comet. Raised on an icy comet, Taurus knows only his tiny world. When he sets out to see what lies beyond, he'll discover a universe and an adventure unlike anything he's ever experienced. Well, that's different. I like that. Same. Ray of Hope. Ray uncovers a mysterious family <clears throat> secret when she accepts a scholarship to a prestigious boarding school. Now she must choose. Will she, will she succumb to dark powers on her 16th birthday or fight to undo the evil in her family's past? It's a good question. This is free. Also, I want to be mad about the pun title, but I can't. Same. Because I saw that and I was like, Ray of Hope. All right. All right. You, you got me. Then the morning comes. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry. Until morning comes. <clears throat> wow, what is going on? Secret Service Agent Carly, I thought it was Charlie, but it's Carly, is tasked with protecting the president's daughter, Eliza, but her job gets a lot harder when a deadly virus leads to cannibalistic mutants terrorizing oh, the God Almighty, That what? escalated quickly? <laughs> that escalated very quickly, but I'm like, also, it became zombies. That escalated way quickly. She sought to protect it until this horrible thing happened. Whoa! Horrible, horrible thing happened. Also, birds are going crazy, and the moon is about to crash into the earth, so there's a lot of problems. Ghost light. That's Ray. This is Ray of Hope, but she's wearing that other guy's jacket. When fey children start disappearing, it's up to psychic detective Ivy Granger to track down their kidnapper. But Ivy is still learning to control her second sight. Can she... <laughs> is she powerful enough to crack the case without putting her own life in danger? That's a good question. Her her picture looks like it was put under the mosaic filter in Photoshop. Because her face looks weird, and so did her hair. She, she beat up Yancey and stole his jacket. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, it's the last book, and it's it's the trifecta. It brings this whole episode together. Oh god, why? Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm so excited. Lesbian <gasps> oh cops. Oh my god. god. That sounds great, and by great I mean awful. These beautiful and sensual police women so. know their way around a pair of handcuffs. Oh, oh my god. god. From going deep undercover to regular patrol, this collection of short stories follows lesbian cops who stay on the right side of the law and our hearts. Oh my god. <laughs> that sounds Yay. great. I'm so excited about that. I'm so glad we had, like, that theme going, because this just really brings it all together. It and really I, does. Did we not I'm have so a proud. single torso? Nope. We didn't have any man That's torsos. so weird. We had some legitimate LGBT fiction. Like, a, we had two or three yeah. Yeah. legitimate yeah. LGBT fiction. And then, a few and then we ended up with lesbian cops. <laughs> what are they investigating? <laughs> Whatever it is, they're doing also, it Also, she's badly cut out on this, <laughs> yeah, she is. On this background. It's... This is, I just, I'm so, good job, episode 13. Shine by comparison. You brought it back. Times better than episode 12. Yeah, we did. We were slipping. Well, I have nothing else to say about this. Same. So, good night. Good night. Yep. <laughs>